word to be held in its highest obedience. Yes. Amen. Children cannot raise themselves. Yes. Amen. Parent must raise the children Amen. and Amen. must do it through a firm discipline, mm -hmm. yet with love and understanding. Amen. Now, verse 4. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Now, they hear, well, there's the God here again. Now that, I, I jumped in that accidentally. But, <laughs> uh, for for y'all that didn't hear when we shared in Isaiah 43 and verses 10 and 11 and 12, uh, God said again, Here we Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, not two and not three. Uh, verse 5. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart and with all thy soul and with all thy might. Now, this is a commandment. Now, I want you to fully understand what God's saying. You should love the Lord thy God with all your heart. Now, heart means the inner being. This love, again, is not a physical type of love. Amen. Amen. This love is based on a respect through belief and through fear. Yes. God wants you to love him because he is God. Yes. So I believe in God and I love him or I reverence him yes. or I respect him. Therefore, I'm going to obey him. Watch now, read. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart. Now, you've got to... He said command, did he? Yes. It's not optional. Yes. Now, this is a commandment. you got to love him. Okay. Now, I said this love. and now oh, oh, I just love the Lord. Now, yeah. wait a minute. God is not... He's not unwise. Amen. He knows that you can't physically love him. Amen. But you can have such an awesome respect of him that it creates a bond. Yes. And that bond is what brings you to <clears throat> church time after time Hallelujah. after time. Amen. Pay your tithes time yes. after yes. time after time because of this bond of respect or a type of agape love that one has to have and that connection, spiritual connection with God that transcends into a natural yes. connection or a yes. physical connection. Yes. I have so many bills. But God said, pay your tithes and trust me. Yes. Amen. Well, Lord, I'm snapping out on faith. Yes. And you pay your tithes. Amen. Now, this don't mean to say because you pay your tithes, you ain't going to get your lights cut off. Amen. Don't fool yourself. Amen. You might get your lights cut off. Amen. But don't you know God knows that? Oh, glory. Hallelujah. And I'm not going to complain. Because yes. I did pay my tithes. Amen. Importantly, Amen. because I'm proving to God I, I'm nothing but you yes. everything. Hallelujah. And if you see fit that my lights get cut off, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There must be a reason. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. The reason is I want you to come up to a higher height. Yes. yes. A deeper faith in Lord, him. Hallelujah. This is how we were able to get this church here. Yes. Through a faith. Yes. When everything looked like it was closed. Amen. But when God opened up doors. And when the door was closed. Oh hallelujah. Amen. And God said well I'm going to open up a door anyhow. Yes. I don't care what the stock market says. Yes. I don't care what the housing industry says. Yes. I'm going to open up a door. And I mean he blow the door open. Yes. 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 I mean blow the door open. God is a wonder. Yes. If you trust in him, yes. stand by faith. These teachings are critically important. And I'm going in this direction here because uh, I want you to fully understand, parents, the importance of bringing up God's children. Yes. They're not yours. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. All children belong to God. Amen. Well, all souls belong to God, but children are held in a special way. Amen. And right. you've got to bring them up to the Lord. All right, read. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. Teach them diligently to thy children. And shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. Can y'all see what God is saying? Yes. In other words, God is saying all the time. Yes. yes. In the daytime. Yes. Right. In the evening before they get to bed. Yes. When they get up in the morning, you Amen. still Amen. got Hallelujah. to teach this yes. into them. You got to pound it into them. You can't be in such a rush. That you can't sit down. And I'm going to say to our school, now we're going to set aside at least from 15 to a half hour every day to go take the children into Scripture. Amen. And y'all, 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 choose the Scripture that you want. Amen. But 
do it. Take a scripture and dissect it and put it into these children's head Amen. day after day after day after day after day after day. Amen. And we're going to get a little bit more Amen. of this word into them. And we're going to get it so deep into them when they get in high school. I don't care how they're going to slip off and take your head come and put it in their pocket and get over and try to hip hop with the rest of the girls. <laughs> Sooner or later, everything that's been pounded into them, there'll be such a conviction when they be, they'll be ashamed to come to the house. Hallelujah. But God is a merciful God. Let's put this into them. And I say to the young children, we're not teaching you something that's wrong. We're teaching you something that's right. You can see it now. But when you grow up, and you have children, Freedom. you are obligated yes. to teach your children the very same thing. Yes. Thou shalt teach them carefully. Mm -hmm. yes. Verse 7. Thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thy talk house. Talk of them. Amen. Now, if y'all go in the room now, read that scripture I told you yes. to. No. Yes. It says, you shall talk of them. Amen. Uh -huh. When thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up, yes. and thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thy hand, and they shall be as frontless between thine eyes. If you keep putting it into them, when they wake up, it'll yes. be in their head. Amen. When they go to bed, it'll be in their head. Yeah. When they go to school, it'll be in their head. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It'll be in front of them. Yeah. Everywhere they go, not physically in front of them, yeah. but spiritually, mentally, yeah. it's going to be in them. Mm -hmm. We have to understand the very danger of this wickedness that's on these enemies. Yes. Now, uh, soldier boy, soldier girl, whoever it is, y'all leave that mess alone. Amen. I'm, I'm telling you this right in the sight of the Lord. And I know after this, you're going to leave it alone because if you go to it, the Lord's going to spring this Bible class back into you. And, and you're not going to be comfortable when you go to bed at night. Now hear me. Teach uh, all right, I'm going to get away from that. Uh, let's go to uh, Romans, the 12th chapter. Everything is based on the rule of obedience by holiness. We're talking about church by salvation. Everything, again, I said, is based on holiness. Church. Now, God's church by, or rather, salvation, let me put it that way, And God's church. Amen. Salvation and God's church. Romans 12 and 1. Amen. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, oh, acceptable wait. unto God. Wait. Sacrifice. Holy. Yes. I beseech you, brethren, which means church, by the mercy of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and what? Acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Uh huh. And be not conformed to this world. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Sanctified. 